Well, you know, the one thing about fleeing a crime scene with paid assassins on your tail is you pack light. You nervous? You won't want to move into Maggie's with me, would you? You're worried that Vivian's going to come after your daughter. No, I mean, with Florence dead, you and I are the only ones who know about it. I just, I, I was hoping that you would want to run some interference for me. Interference? Maggie's got a flag football team? <laughs> I need domestic conversational interference. I need someone to stop me from making a complete fool out of myself when I talk to my daughter. Can't help you there. All kids think their parents are idiots. I can't even tell her I'm her mother. And I can't cry. And I have to act like it's no big deal. When it's the most important thing I've ever done. You noticed. Could this be a sign that you're feeling a little insecure about this? You should think about it for a little bit longer. You don't have to take off right now. No, I, I do. I'm going. I just wanted to say something. Sounds ominous. All my life. Most of my life. I thought, you know, I'm, I was a pretty tough cookie. No, really? <laughs> and then... The last few years with Lawrence and everything that he became just really, really scared me. Like I'd never been scared in my whole life and I just ended up feeling so weak and, and worthless. And... You were beaten down. This isn't about him, it's about you. Ever since I showed up on your doorstep, you were like a rock for me. And I stop being so scared, Bo. Wait a minute. Um, you eluded some assassins. You survived a plane crash. You rescued an amnesiac. You survived. A conversation with Vivian, any one of those things would put you right at the top of the list of bravery. All right, you don't like the compliment thing. I'll just move it along quickly. The, the point is, is that you, you took care of me. And you didn't make me feel weak, and you protected me. And in the end, I feel stronger, so thank you. You're quite a guy. You're quite a guy. Yeah, oh, shucks, ma'am. <laughs> One thing, uh, life ain't boring when you're around. Hey, Paul, I was wondering if you wanted to grab a beer. I guess not. Philip, this is Carly Manning. Carly, my brother, Philip. Oh, it's nice to finally meet you. Why? I feel like I already know you. It slips my mind. Were you going to marry my brother before or after you married my father? <laughs> Philip has led such an exemplary life, he feels comfortable being rude to complete strangers. Obviously, this isn't a good time. I'll catch you later. Oh, no, no, no. Don't leave. I'm, I'm just going. Well, don't go on my account. I wouldn't. Wish me luck. You're gonna do great. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right. Philip, best to your father. You remind me of him. <laughs>